organic architecture promotes harmony between man and nature. The creation of balance between man's environment and the natural environment. An in-depth knowledge of the morphology of the land helps you identify the correct solution. Architerra can import real surveys, transforming reality into virtual reality. To import a topographic survey using the XYZ standard and saved in text file format, use the text file import command in the Architerra palette. Now the text file has been converted into a cloud of points. You can use the outline command to define the surface to convert. The morphology of the land can now be analyzed using contour lines and level dimensions. Rather than viewing level differences with color depth. With Architerra, you can create plateau and excavations, including sloping, and immediately calculate the amount of earth moved. Suppose you want to excavate to bury a river, and you want to know how much earth has been excavated. Just draw a fill in the shape of the excavation, use the plateau command to define its characteristics, and why not give the operation a name? Although not designed for this specific purpose, Architerra can be used to plan and create roads and calculate how much excavation and fill material is involved. To represent a road, just draw the axis, then use the special palette to define the basic characteristics, such as the width and angle of the scarps. You can then change the road by its longitudinal profile. With Architerra, you can let the imagination run free, coloring the terrain with any color and material. For example, to create the course of a river with a different material from the meadow, you can define the area with a fill, then set the graphic characteristics using the colored area tool. Guardrails, fences, and walls. Use a polyline to define the position of the wall to be created. Then define its characteristics using the wall tool and then the corresponding palette. The wall can also be transformed into a fence. Architerra can be used to create ever different trees, rocks, and landscapes. The Random Terrain, Tree and Rocks tool can be used to complete the example by inserting trees. Once the characteristics of the first tree have been defined, the following trees will have the same characteristics but different shapes, just like in nature.